one hair gun, big bang is cool. Got a metal hair gun. That's a quick video. We, uh, last week, we spent several days uh, up in the high country pushing cattle from one pasture to another. Now, when I say pasture, uh, lest you misunderstand, one pasture is 10,000 acres and it's up over 9,000 feet in the mountains. Okay, so it's, you take 600 mama cows and all the babies, dump them off in a 10,000 acre pasture up in the mountains, and it's a lot of riding. So you move them from one pasture to the next after so many days. So we spent a lot of time riding. Uh, there were days when we would uh, uh, meet at four o'clock, at 4.30 we're saddling in the dark, um, put the horses in the trailer and head out and get out. And, and we're on the trail riding and hunting cattle by five, 5.30. So we got a, we did that last week. Uh, a lot of rough country, went through a lot of willows. Uh, it rained on us two or three times, sleeted on us. We've had about three days off. And so we're pulling out of here in the morning, heading, meeting at the barn at 4.30 in the morning, saddling and loading the horses by five and heading out. Uh, and it's about a, it's about an 80 mile drive over to where we're gonna get off the road and head up and to where we dump the horses out. And then, so what we're doing is we're doing a big sweep, a big clean of any strays, anything that got lost or left behind. So several miles tomorrow. So I'm getting ready this evening to, uh, to load up and head out early in the morning. I thought I'd do a quick video uh, on uh, what it is to get ready for something like this. Uh, especially after you've been doing a lot of riding. Uh, so I was going to clean my saddle, um, but I got it out and I looked at it and I decided not to. Now it got rained on two or three times, uh, but it doesn't need oiled. It doesn't need cleaned right now because I keep my saddle thoroughly oiled. And if you keep your gear cleaned and oiled as you go, it's easy to touch up when needed. So I decided right now i'm not going to because i got this huge ride tomorrow and then we got another ride up a different mountain out of here the day after that and then things are going to slow down for a bit so I'll, I'll take the time after we finish up and i'll do a thorough cleaning and i'll do a video on that okay so i checked my gear and and uh and i decided i, I don't need to clean it and oil it tonight i'll do that uh when i get back because i know what i got coming up ahead of me um so uh, I got my scent, check my scent, make sure my scent is clean. Uh, if your scent isn't clean, uh, you're gonna gall your horse, especially heavy riding in rough country. You need to make sure your scent is clean. So I came in and checked my scent and it's good. Like I said, I checked my leather, it's good. I uh, got my gear. When it's four o'clock in the morning and it's dark, you need to make sure that you're not stumbling around in a foggy sleep. There ain't nothing worse than loading your horse up in a trailer going 80 miles or 90 miles dumping him out of the trailer and then realize you left your head stall at home and so you're going to have to ride all day and halt it so i got my gear i've got everything i've got my breast collar got my back cinch got my lariat uh, got my cinch my cinch is clean i've got my head stall my head stall is going to come around here and i'm going to use the front saddle strings and tie it on uh, so my saddle will be on my horse He'll be tied in the trailer with a halter, and uh, but my headstall will be on my saddle. Um, saddle bags. Now, if you go back, if you've been watching my videos, I did a video on saddle bags, and I talked about how I recommended the larger Calvary style uh, saddle bags, especially I mentioned the ones made by Triple K. If you're packing and outfitting, well, I needed a set of saddle bags, and when I arrived here. Before I ordered them, I got to looking around and all the working cowboys out here that I was working with, riding with, they all have these smaller saddle bags. Uh, and I got to looking and got to thinking and, and you're never too old to learn. If you're too old to learn, you're too old to live. Just kick the bucket and leave. You're just gonna cause trouble for the rest of us, okay? You can always learn something. And so I got to asking around and for the work that we're doing for just a day, rough riding you don't have the big saddle bags full of stuff flopping around and everything in there these things actually worked out perfect so i ordered me a pair uh 
I got me a pair from Big Ben Soldery uh, out of Alpine, Texas, and they come. I don't. I don't know if you can see from there. They don't have the holes in them like a lot of saddlebags. Um, so what I did was I drilled it. I, I put the saddlebags on here where I wanted. I measured them and I drilled it. I took, I undid my blood knots, took my conchos off, and attached the saddlebags to the saddle. And it's sweet. For what I'm doing right now, it's really sweet. So now I'm going to get my saddlebags ready for tomorrow. So now I've had two or three questions. What's in the saddlebags? Now you got to do you. You always got to do you. But these saddlebags, I got two bottles. Regular, you go to Walmart and buy those flats of water, bottled water. I got two water, bottles of water. Put them in the freezer and they're froze. On one side, they fit perfectly in these saddlebags. Two bottles of water, boom, right there. It buckles down so nothing goes nowhere. It fits perfect. That's what's going to be on the one side. Now, usually, if we're leaving here and we're going up there and we kick out of the trailer at 7 o'clock or something like that because of the drive, um, I'll have just some granola bars in the other side. Um, now, um, but tomorrow morning, I mean, I'm getting up at 3. I'm not going to be making a big breakfast. And so... And I'm not going to work all day on an empty stomach. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to bake some biscuits. Uh, yes, I can do that. I'm going to bake some biscuits and I'm going to fry up some sausage. And I'm going to make some sausage biscuits and either put them in a Tupperware or put them in aluminum foil for Will and I. And they'll go on the other side of the saddlebag. And so I have something a little bit more substantial. And there'll be a room I'll also put two or three uh, granola bars in there. This is something to think about eating on the trail. I hope this makes sense to you. The more you eat, the more you got to eat. And if you eat every meal at home, like it's your last meal, then the body, the body adapts to that. And the body says, I got to have this much food. I got to have this much calories. I got to have this much starch. I got to have this much this. I got to have this much volume. Um, but if you eat logically at home, and eat right, the body will adapt to that. And so when you get out on the trail and you're out for several hours, you're not starving and, and needing, you're, you're not so needy, okay? And since I've been changing the way I eat, uh, I get along a whole lot better out on the trail with a whole lot less food. But so anyhow, gonna have two water bottles in one side and gonna have three or four uh, homemade sausage biscuits in the other side with a couple of granola bars. Uh, got my got my shafts here they'll go with me it's 64 percent chance of rain tomorrow so i got that and uh, and then i'm gonna i'm gonna roll up and fold up my slicker and then my own particular way of doing it tie that behind the saddle so when i get there i got my gear and that's it so i'll have everything i'll have my slicker on behind my saddle tonight i'll have my i'll have my shafts with my saddle i got my head stall with my saddle my spurs will go on my boots tonight. Uh, my uh, saddle pad is right there. And so I have everything ready. And it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. Um, our philosophy of life at home, we take it with us on the trail. And if you're the kind of person who is going to go for a weekend to visit family and you've got three suitcases and a duffel bag of stuff, then that's what you're going to wind up trying to take on the trail. Um, but if you if you start making changes in the way you look at things, if you become less needy at home, if I can use it like that, you'll be less needy out on the trail. Okay? So just simple. Uh, not a whole lot to this video, but I think it may help somebody. Uh, and uh, if it does... Like if you give me a like, and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I, I'm gonna try my next video. I've had some requests on cleaning and oiling leather, leather, and and I'm gonna do a video on that soon. So uh, keep checking back here and stay tuned. So in the meantime, be safe, be logical, be reasonable, and have fun. And we'll catch you later.